Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on Simplify Exponents. Exponents are kind of tedious to simplify and there's a lot of rules and uh, things and formulas you have to remember. So hopefully with this clip we'll give you a simplified version, make it a little bit easier on you. Okay, the first thing you need to know is this, you are, which I, you already know. If you have x squared times x to the, say, third, that's equal to x to the fifth. Okay, there's one of the rules. The rule is easy if you just write x times x, and that's x squared term. Cube is just three of them. If you add them together, you do have five. So it's rule really saying is, look, if you have the same base, just add the exponents. Okay, so if adding makes sense, then for division that wouldn't make sense, you have subtraction because they're after all opposite. Okay, so that one makes sense. And then and one more and then we'll get started simplifying what we have over here. If you have two, that's kind of multiplying, but not quite sure what to do. Think about it. Cube is really something cloned by itself or duplicated three times. Now using earlier ones we have the same base, I'm just going to add together which actually turned out equal to two times three. So the rule says look if you just have one base and it looks like a multiplication then multiply it. So that's what we're going to do first thing here. Okay, So I have three circles here. There's two more over here and I'll continue later on. Well let's use what we have. So I have a minus 1 squared, okay, and then a to the cube squared, b squared, also squared. So all I did it was take this minus as a minus 1, and then I split all the application or multiplication out. Make it easier on ourselves. Minus 1 squared is positive 1. Hey, we like that. It disappears. Now remember the rule here? It looks like a multiplication, and multiply it. 8 to the 6. B look like a multiplication, multiply. Okay. Square. And oh, I don't have a square here. My apology. B to the fourth. Okay. We know B to the fourth, B to the fourth cancels. That gives you the one. Incidentally, that's another circle we're gonna have on this side. But here's our division. Division means subtraction. Kind of like a regular division, you do subtract, right? So a to the 6 minus 1. If you want, you say, hey, how about a b? If I didn't see that they're going to cancel, I have a 4 minus 4, right? So I have a to the 5th. Well, what happens b to the 4th minus the b to the 4th? Let's try it. b to the 4th, b to the 4th. We know the answer has to be 1 because top and bottom cancels. Also, we also know also, we also know that sounds funny. But anyway, when you divide here, we're going to subtract that equal to b to the 0. Now, math is one of the few things that does not have any contradiction to itself. So, therefore, in order to complete the circle, b to the 0 must equal to 1. So, anything to the 0 power equal to 1. That's pretty cool. And then the answer is to the fifth. Okay, that's that's it. Simplify the version. Now earlier I said in order to sim simplify the rule books for you, I have four circles here, and as promised, there's one more. Okay, in your book you can find up to twelve. I think one student actually brought in a book with twelve rules to remember. That was too long for anyone. Okay, what if it's one over b squared? Earlier we said 1 is really b to the 0. We're going to trick the system. Okay, math doesn't have to be hard, right? We can trick the system. b to the 0, and we're dividing here now. Guess what? It's b 0 minus 2 equal to b minus 2. Huh. So when you have a negative exponent, let's say b to the minus 5, you don't like the minus sign, looks like a cactus needle. I live in Arizona, so all the minus sign is a headache, so I always think of them as a nasty cactus needles. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip it 1 over b, then become positive 5. Doesn't that look prettier? Okay, This is our last circle. All right, 
That's how we handle simplifying exponents. Hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Penn, making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.